Hey guys, I decided to make a, not a new series, but a new project. Um, I might jump back and forth between the RTS and the other project as I uh, figure out some more stuff, but I've heard a lot of people suggest that they wanted a, like a Final Fantasy style combat system, and I was thinking of something like that, or like the Pokemon combat system, and different stuff like that. So I think we're going to be making a 2D, um, yeah, just a 2D top-down game, and it's going to be something like Final Fantasy or Pokemon, where you walk around and you run into random encounters depending on how many steps you take, and we can do that by calculating maybe a random each time we move, or something like that, maybe uh, after a certain amount of steps it uh, calculates that all out and it starts the boss encounter or the enemy encounter I mean and then we can do other things like um, set specific areas to be uh, where enemies show up so in Pokemon if you're walking through tall grass um, you'll run into enemies but if you're walking on the paths you won't run into any so I think I'm gonna do something like that with the tutorial um, please leave more stuff that you might want in this tutorial series down in the comments. So if there's anything from like a 2D top-down game that you'd like to see implemented in this, we can do that. So it's pretty much going to be a system like you walk around, you run into a, um, a random monster, and then you can select different abilities, you can attack, then the monster AI can attack you, and it'll go back and forth until one of the either player or enemy dies and then from there either award something like experience or items add them to the inventory and jump back into gameplay so we're going to be going over how to jump between the different uh, I don't know if I'm going to do different scenes yet or if I'm just going to create like an area like below here where we can start the battles but depending on which each encounter will be kind of random so it'll pick a random monster to put in the scene, which will have random different attacks. They can do stuff like poison, maybe the player, and stuff like that. So we're going to be covering a lot of new RPG mechanics. You could always take this uh, this tutorial and turn it into like a 3D uh, RPG if you wanted, something like Final Fantasy IX or you know anything that you want to create. But yeah, in this tutorial, I was just going to go go over basic. Uh, 2D movement. I don't know if I covered this yet. I know in my Learn JavaScript tutorial I went over something, but that's not the correct way of how I want to set this up. So, it, yeah. So what I did was I created just a plane, put a little texture on there, and then I created a box and I put my little sprite on there. Now right now this isn't a sprite sheet, so it won't um, loop through each time it walks whichever direction. So in the future, I'll do another sprite tutorial to where if you press the key, it'll activate one animation or a different animation depending on uh, what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty much all I set up for now. And then I set up the camera and I made it orthographic. Now orthographic's a little bit different um, from our other camera that we were using because we were using perspective before. That's more for 3D and this is orthographic so no matter how much I move it up and down it's not going to zoom in or out you're gonna to have to change it through size so I can just reset that at 25 so I set mine at 25 you can look in this little window if I set it higher to like a hundred it'll zoom out so yeah but I have mine set at 25 and I went and I took the main camera and I drug it onto the cube we can actually go here and name this our player just so it's easier to keep track of. And then I created a script for movement. Now this script's pretty basic. I just did variable speed, which is a float. And I made that 20. And then down in here, I set up each of the keys. Now we're using get key because we want it, our character to move while we're holding down the key. Because get key down, we'll call it once if we press it down, but this will call it a bunch of times. As, many, as long as we're holding it down, it'll constantly be calling this for the movement so I did it for W A S and D 
which are the main keys people use, I could do another set, and I can do like or if they press like an arrow key or something. But for now, I'm just setting it up like that. And we're using transform.translate, and this creates, we can create a vector 3 in here, and times it by time delta, or delta time. So, yeah, that's just the game time, and as we're holding it down, it'll go minus speed. So this is x, y, and z. And so, yeah, I did minus speed, 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 and minus speed for each one. And that's all we need to set up the basic movement that we're going to be doing. And since the camera is attached to the player, the camera will move as we move. So you can see, as I press the keys, and if I'm pressing like two keys, it'll move diagonally. So yeah, next tutorial I'm going to cover how to actually uh, do this, the step process. I think if any of the keys are being held down, I'm going to either call some kind of random or something along those lines. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do yet, but it needs to constantly be calling something that either randomizes like between like 1 and 10, and if it hits like 5 or whatever number, it'll enable a monster encounter, and we can go from there. But yeah, I'm going to come up with a way to set that up, and I'll see you guys next tutorial.